Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. Well, Valentine's Day is coming closer. So I was thinking I could do a couple of cards and what I have here are three pieces of papers and I am using this Canson Montvald watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds and that is 100% cellulose watercolor paper. It is 20 bar 32 centimeters or 9 and a half 9.4 by 12.6 inches. So this is it. I've just divided it into four parts and for this painting today I will be using three of them. Also I'm using white knights today and well I guess that is basically it. Brushes you can use whatever you have. I'm not even sure which brushes am I going to use and also well I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it but you can use maybe some salt. I don't think I am patient enough today to wait for it to dry so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it. I will see during the painting process. So as I said three Valentine's Day cards and I did make here some little doodles just to know what I'm gonna do and that is basically it. We can actually uh, get started. So let's do it. Let's get started. For the first card I will be starting with sketch and I'm using just a regular pencil and drawing three hearts and as you can see I'm not even trying to make them symmetrical I'm just drawing them I do like them if, even if they are not symmetrical it just gives it a little bit something more so don't be bothered with how symmetrical they are. After I finished with the sketch I just picked up the excess graphite with my kneaded eraser, artist eraser. Afterwards I privetted the paper. This time I did not use a washi tape for the borders. I'm not bothered with that. I will be painting just near to the border or not, whatever it comes out at the end. But you know this paper is warping slightly so you might want to use some washi tape or some tape to glue it onto your table if you don't want the paper to warp or just wet it on the other side on the back side and then it will slightly stick and glue onto the table so it won't warp as much but it doesn't bother me. So uh, as I said I prevented the paper and then added just around the hearts added a little bit of yellow cadmium yellow medium mother lake red light and also some mars brown and some sepia i wasn't really trying to paint anything in the background i was just leaving the hearts uh, white but everything around it i have painted and even if some bleeds there were into the hearts that's also fine I left it to dry completely and then afterwards use an ink pen, Micron ink pen, this is number I think 5 and then added those lines, went over the lines that I drew earlier with the pencil and again afterwards I've added on one side of the heart a little bit darker, a little bit more saturated Mother Lake red light and in the corners just nearest to the edge I've added just a little bit of sepia then sprinkled some mother lake red light on top and that is it with that i'm finished with the first one for now then moving on to the second one second one i will be will be drawing an envelope and some hearts going out of it and when you draw an envelope just draw the the edges of it first that uh, little square part and then just in the center of that square I made a dot just to know where my sides of the envelopes are going and where they are meeting. So that is how I drew those two triangles. And then on top same just added the dot where the middle part is and drew that upper triangle again. And when finished with the sketch I've added also a couple of hearts. I used again needed a razor to pick up the excess graphite, prevented the paper and then with this time chromium oxide, mother lake red light, again sepia and mars brown. I've painted in just around those uh, around the envelope with the green and inside the envelope with sepia, mars brown and yellow 
and then again on top sprinkled a bit of the yellow so again paint is gonna bleed outside the borders outside the, the envelope but that is fine I'm not trying to keep it inside so don't be bothered with that this is just you know looser style and we're just painting around it and leaving the paint to do its thing later on and again I left it to dry completely and when it did dry I'm using the same ink pen to do to do the borders the lines that I drew earlier and after finished with that again adding a little bit more of the details with sepia then a little bit of the yellow and this time I did not privet the paper so there is some maybe harsh lines but that is also fine I'm just adding the paint and dipping my brush into the water rinse it and then smudging it just with the clean water for the hearts I did actually the same thing as I did on the larger hearts I've added a little bit of mother lake red light on left side smudge it also slightly into the right side and then added on the edges some sepia and sprinkles and that is it for the second one moving on to the third one third one I'm just drawing a jar and there are gonna be a couple of uh, hearts in the jar and also some hearts moving away from the jar escaping from the jar this time again I'm using just a regular pencil and I will be picking up the excess graphite with kneaded eraser because you know I do like to pick up that excess graphite and I don't want it to smudge it all around my paper when I start using watercolors and again my hearts are really symmetrical they are a little bit playful so don't be bothered with how with every heart of yours it doesn't have to be perfect and also that jar doesn't have to be perfect either and afterwards again privetted the entire paper I'm starting with chromium oxide I've added it all around my paper even into the jar and then a little bit of this time ultramarine mixed it with turquoise blue to the inside of the jar and a little bit of cadmium yellow medium on the top part of the jar and here there also and now I am using mother lake red light and I'm just adding it on the parts where my hearts are and you can see I did not actually paint the hearts I'm just adding it tipping it there where I drew my hearts again I left it to dry completely and then moved on to my inking using the same ink pen number five and as you could have seen also in previous two cards and in this one when inking I'm not trying to make one straight line but I'm just uh, making that broken line that is intentional because I did want that broken line I think well it looks a little bit better to me I don't want it to be perfect with beautiful line I do want the lines to be slightly broken a little bit more interesting and then again same thing as earlier painting the hearts left side with a little bit more of the pigment smudging it slightly also into the right side and then I've picked up some sepia painted in the upper part of my jar and also downwards into the body of the jar with a little bit of ultramarine and turquoise blue just adding a couple of details here and there where I see fit and now again with sepia going just on the edges on the, of the left side of the hearts a little bit of the sprinkles with mother like red light and this one is also finished now only it remains to write the text and for the first one I am writing all my hearts just for you I think that is quite fun you know it could be that all my hearts are just for you or all my heart is just for you so I guess that was fun so I decided to write that for the one with three hearts I'm just writing love into all of them and you can also if you want add a little bit more of the text on that uh, upper right side I did not want it to that was fine the, there should be also some breathing space on the card and then the third one I'm writing sending you all my love and that is it with that I'm finished with all of those three uh, cards I hope you liked it yeah I did add a little bit more of the sprinkles with mother like red light I hope you do like this one I think they're very very quite simple yeah and a little bit of white gouache of course just a little bit of white gouache quite simple quite fun and I think you could do that 
with your kids also if you have them and I do believe you might give it give this a try so guys thank you so so much for watching i hope you like this video if you do please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that would be really awesome thank you to all of you who have, who have already joined my channel and well again thank you so much and i hope i'll see you next time bye